So I saw the first five episodes, guys. It's really suspenseful. And we see Daryl a little bit softer than we saw him before. What changed in the whole, maybe the whole language, the whole um, rhythm, the whole chemistry? We You show the new series now. Yeah. Who want to start? Enrique Roman, who wants to start? I'll start. Yes. Well, yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a new version of The Walking Dead. It is The Walking Dead, but it's a totally new version of it. And about Daryl, yeah, it changed. And actually, I think that, you know, it's very new for him too. He is in this new country without his friends anymore. So he has to adapt to this new society and these new rules. So yeah, I think it's, it's a great thing to see uh, Daryl that way, you know. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's like um, a stranger in a stranger land, you know. He's lost and uh, he needs to find new allies to survive. Yeah, because Enrique also thought, why Paris? What was the reason? Why Paris? Yes. I mean, it's beautiful and everything, but it's, I was like, oh, we are in Paris now, you know, astonished. Yeah, you know, I mean, from my point of view, Paris, because Paris is the city of hope. And, uh, uh, and that's the thing. And hope is not lost. Hope is, that's what they say. <laughs> hope is not lost. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> but um, I, I saw always Paris is the city of love. It's so the city of love and hope, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. love and hope. And Roma, for you, you you play this really mean guy, and you seem such a nice man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, it depends. Mo- <laughs> He's not that nice. He's not that nice. Nobody not, right? Uh, depends with um, who. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, but Robert, um, all actors always say it's so nice to play a villain because, and what attracted you, you know, what do you love about your character? Well, uh, first of all, of course, he, he, Codron is seen as a villain. I, I don't like so much to judge my character. I'm trying to, to understand them and to understand what, what they have been through in their life to bring them to this kind of situations. But yeah, of course, in a way, uh, Codron is a villain. And I love that. I love because I love that because, you know, there is things that I can express through this character, you know. Uh, we all have inside us hate, uh, anger, a, f- a feeling of injustice, you know. So with this character, I can express that, you know, so... You yeah. can catalyze it, so to mm-hmm. say, right? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And Enrique, what could you catalyze with your character? What is, you know, what liberated you maybe? Um, I mean, uh, I think the Falu is pretty close to myself, you know, uh, because he's just uh, uh, a caring person and uh, he wants people to be happy. And um, that's the way I am. I want people to be happy. I'm a caring person. I'm a caring person. And the thing is, uh, he's a leader of his community called the Union of Hope. And uh, the fact that he's a leader, he wants everybody in his community uh, to be happy. And the thing is, that's the way I am. I want everybody around me to be happy. Then spread the happiness and the hope. I have to wrap up, guys. Uh, Absolutely. Thank you so much for the interview and have fun today. Thank Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Uh Tschüss. Tschüss. Bye-bye. Bye. (laughs) Bye.